Proponents of catastrophic man-made warming warm us on a nearly daily basis of the dangers of high levels of carbon dioxide. In this two-part video series, we'll take a look first at the most recent CO2 concentrations and then put it in the longer-term geologic perspective. Uh, if we look at the most recent data from Mauna Loa, this shows the carbon dioxide concentrations uh, increasing regularly over the last several years, dating back to 1958. There are several lines of evidence that support the idea that this recent increase over the last 150 years or so of increasing CO2 concentrations are due to man's uh, emissions. And what are those emissions? Uh, they're primarily consumption of fossil fuels, coal, oil, natural gas, tiny amount, 5% or so from cement manufacture. Uh, and what are the countries that are the uh, chief emitters of carbon dioxide. It's primarily uh, European Union, China, the United States, uh, and India. Taking a look now at human global CO2 emissions dating back to the beginning of the Industrial Revolution in the middle of the 1700s, we see that there were virtually no man-made emissions until the early 20th century, and it was really the mid-20th century in that post-World War II economic boom that carbon dioxide emissions really started ramping up. And I want you to remember that period as we will be looking at this chart in upcoming videos um, showing that really the ramp up of carbon dioxide emissions really started in the mid 20th century. Viewing the last 400,000 years of carbon dioxide levels taken from Antarctic ice core data, we see that during the ice ages CO2 levels fell to less than 200 parts per million, while during the interglacial warming periods like we're in right now, they were in the 280, 290, up to 300 parts per million range. So the 400 parts per million we see right now looks significantly high compared to the past 400,000 and even 800,000 years. In the next installment of this video, we'll see how this really looks like when put into the longer-term geologic perspective.